In this video, we're going to be adding pagination to our WordPress theme. So as you can see, we currently have like 10 posts on our page. But let's say, for example, you, you only want three to show up at a time. You could just go and set a limit to that in the dashboard, and we'll do that in a second. And then add some pagination where they could just click on a button and page through all the posts. So that's what we'll set up. So if we go pull up our trusty little checklist here. So first we'll go into the dashboard and we're going to set the limit for the post to three. And then when we do that, then we'll go and we'll go check out these two functions. Oh, by the way, these are all the functions we'll be using in this video. But we'll start off with these two. Now I'm just going to go copy and paste all the code off the internet. The reason is, is that that's going to show you where I'm finding the, these functions. So you can find them yourself if you ever want to look into the documentation. So we'll just copy and paste it right into our index page. So let's go first check out the dashboard and change the setting. So I'm going to move this off the side and pull up the dashboard. And if we go down to settings and click on reading, and right here it gives you an option to change the, the settings for how many posts that will show up on your page. And I'm just going to change that to three. And while we're here, let's just go ahead and change this too. All right, great. And don't forget to save it. All right, so if we go back to the front end and refresh it, we should only have three posts showing up on this page. So there's three. Okay, great. So now let's go and add our pagination. So if you go to your description below and look for template tags and just click on that link and you'll show up at this page. And then make sure you navigate down to post tags area. And the two functions we're going to check out first is the next post link. So let's just open that in a new tab. And then also the previous post with the S link. So let's open that up. Now I'm just going to go in and copy right out of here. So right down here, they got some nice snippets right here. I'm just going to use the default settings, but keep in mind, you could always change the text. It gives you a whole bunch of different options here you could read up on. But I'm just going to use the default setting. And let's go and paste this into the, the index page. Inside of the index page, I'm thinking about adding the pagination in between the header and the section tag. So let's create a div so we can put all these functions inside of that. So div. And then I'll just call it page. That'd be good. And then we'll go and create a couple span tags to paste these functions inside of that. So I'll paste the first one here. And this one uh, we'll call, I want this one on the right side. So I'll call this, give it a class, right text right that'd be good okay great let's just copy this and then paste another one here let's go out and get that other function for this one here and I'll change this one to left and this is for styling purposes so let's go out to the web and copy and paste that other function so let's go inside of that other tab we got open and then just copy this now WordPress gives you a default text that that shows up and I'll show you that in a second. But keep in mind, you could always change it by adding in your own text right in here and you could change it to anything you want. But I'm just gonna leave it at the default. So let's go back to the code editor and just paste that right in here. All right, and then uh, before we go checking out on the front end, I'm just gonna have this float to the right and maybe add a height or something to this span tag. So let's target this one and then pull up our CSS and just throw a style down here I guess float right or something that'd be good okay save it and we might have to add a height or something but we'll, we'll see so let's go to the browser and check it out so if we refresh our front end and as you can see our pagination link is showing up so click next and now we got both of them Let's actually swap these. I want this next page to be on the right and the previous to be on the left. Just change this to left and swap this to right. And then save it. Okay, great. Let's go and refresh it on the front end. Okay, that's better. That makes more sense. So now that we got this page working, let's go and do our single.php file. So if we go and click on one of these and pull up our single page and here we are in the single we're going to add some pagination up here on the top and if we pull up our trusty little checklist 
we're going to be using these two functions now for our single.php file. So let's go check out the documentation and we'll do like we did before. We'll just copy and paste, throw it right into our single.php file. So I'm just going to close these tabs. We don't need them anymore. And reopen your template tags page. And then we're going to go check out the next post without the S, uh, next post link in a new tab. And while we're here, let's open up this other one. And I'm just going to go right in there and just copy and paste like we did before. So um, this shows you all the different ways you could use it. And I'm just going to use just the default standard. Copy that. And let's go paste this in the single.php file. So let's go inside of our single.php file. Open that up. Then we're going to do the same thing right between the header and the section tag. We'll paste it. And actually, better yet, let's go back to our index page. And this is going to be pretty much the same. So we'll just copy this. And just throw that in our single. And just get rid of the S. Because now it's going to be displaying single posts, not uh, numbers of posts. Okay. So let's go and save that and check it out on the front end. So let's refresh it. Okay, great. So now we can navigate through each of our posts. And it's working. Okay, great. So now all we need to do now is add some pagination to our archive php file and also our category so if we pull up our checklist so in our archive and category we're going to be using this function to add some pagination to these two files so let's go check out the documentation online and i'll have this link down in the description you just click on that and find this page quicker and i'm just going to go and copy this and just paste this right into those two files so copy that and let's go open up our category and our archive.php file. So let's start inside of the category.php file. And I'm going to put it in the same spot right, right between the header and the section tag. And then we'll get rid of this argument. We're not going to use any arguments. All right. And then just save that. And then also we're going to add this into our archive in the same location. And again, we'll go get rid of that argument. That's pretty much it. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll check out the HTML, see what this gives us, and then see if we can style it, make it look a little better. So let's go to the front end, refresh it, and see what it looks like. So let's check out our category.php file first. So we'll just click on a category button. And great, as you can see, our post navigation is kicking in. Now this is really neat because you could go and target, like it wraps it in a nice nav tag for you. So let's inspect it, check out the HTML. Now, as you can see, it wraps the whole thing in a nav, so you can target that class, go inside and target the H2, and really style it up nicely. But we're not going to bother with that in this video, but just keep in mind you can do that. And let's go and check out our archive while we're here. So just X out of this. Click on the author, and that should pull up our archive.php. And then, great, we got that post navigation in that also. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to scratch the surface on the pagination, but I recommend you check out the documentation. You could do a lot more than what I'm showing you here. So now in the next video, we're going to add a menu, custom menus, so we can navigate around our site a little easier. So I'll see you then.